Hi everyone! Welcome to Cloud Dolls! It's good to be back! For this video, I'm gonna do a collaboration with a mermaid. The purpose of the collaboration is to make a special mermaid and a friend for her. And for that, I choose Monster High, Perry and Pearl Serpentine. I'm gonna start taking the clothes out, cutting the hair really short. I'm just cutting the blue hair because I'm gonna make a Sakura uh, mermaid. I love the flower and the colors, so I'm gonna keep the white hair and fingers crossed that I don't burn it when I try to take the head off with my heat gun. And yes, I burn it. I deal with that later. Now I'm going to the blue head and take it out with my screwdriver. I'm gonna scratch the hair from inside of the neck of the hole and with my tweezers I will take the rest of the hair out. With 100% acetone I will clean the factory makeup for the white hair. I have a solution, I have an idea. First I cut it, the hair that was burned and now I'm gonna wash it with a clothes softener and I leave it for like a couple of hours and then I wash it really good and that is the final result and just take a look at this look at the mold of the head it's amazing the, the scales, the details I love this mold her face is amazing with my tacky glue I'm gonna cover the exposed hair of her with the brilliance I'm gonna use this pink color that I'm gonna paint the head with my pearl rose krill paint with Mod Pot I'm gonna start cutting the head out and glue it directly into the head and let it dry between the layers Now with really careful I'm gonna make the finish of her hair and with the same technique of glue and crystals I'm gonna finish the head. And now it's time for the face. After three layers of mist super clear, let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes. Don't forget to use your mask. I'm gonna start to give it a layer of a, a micro glitter powder in pearl color. And now I'm gonna start blushing, sketching your eyes and fixtures with my watercolor pencils and my soft pastels. If you are interested in the kind of materials that I use, you can check out in the description box below. I'm working at this moment in the pink face.
when you don't get the opacity when your watercolor pencils don't work the way you want it it's time to give her another layer of mr super clear and let it dry and then come back again it's all about layers now with my uh, white acrylic paint and my teeny little brush i'll give her opacity to the sclera and the highlight in the lips and this time i'm not gonna uh, draw the irish i'm gonna give her a silver star in place of it so i'm, I'm gluing it come with my water grill and give some highlights to the eyes and also to the lips I come back and I'll finish the face with more glitters and sakura flowers. These are nail art products. They are perfect for a doll customization. And we're gonna start with a white gray face. I also start with a layer of micro glitter powder. Also with my watercolor pencils and soft pastels. I'm gonna build her face the same way I did it with the rose face. I'll give it a tiny little blushing in pink and again with the acryl paint I will give it the last details. And I will give her also the same Irish sea stars and I will finish the face with the same glitters. I give a black eyelashes. For the hair, I will make a ponytail. I also sew with some Sakura flowers and I'm making the finishes with some uh, sequins and beads. I'm gonna sew it all together to make it more stable. For the rose face, I will give her rose eyelashes, of course. Just a little bit, a touch. Oh, she looks so cute. I'm in love with her. Now we're gonna start the body. I'm gonna send it with my nail buffers to take the shiny out. And after two layers of mist is super clear, I will give her also a blushing of a micro glitter powder. And with my soft pastels, I will start giving the same blush that I give it to the rose face with the same colors, browns, pinks, whites. For the tail, I want to cut it between the scales, I don't know the name, but I, I'm going to cut it with my Dremel and when I finish I'm going to sand it and paint it everything in pearl rose. I'm going to use this acetate paper to make a base.
Then I come with the UV lamp and I cure it. With my 3D paint, I will make the finishes and then with these different colors of sequences, I'm gonna give her the scales to the tail. First of all, I will give her two layers of gesso to neutralize the blue because some of the sequences, they are transparent and you can see the blue through it and I don't want that. And with tacky glue and a lot of patience, I will start building the tail of the mermaid, scale by scale, sequence by sequence. I'm gonna finish the rest of the tail also with my 3D glitter glue and I'm gonna add some crystals and I will do this in the rest of the tail after everything is dried I give her more sakura flowers to the tail. This is the arms. I already paint them with a gesso and a 3D glitter glue, but I, I really don't like it. I hate it. So I have to scrap it out, take it out, and I'm gonna use my pearl acrylic paint and I'm gonna give it two layers to cover everything with some fake nails. I'm gonna give her some fake nails. For that I'm gonna use a nail that I will cut it in a little triangles and then I glue them directly to her nails, to her fingers. After that I will paint him in pearl rose acrylic color and I'm gonna also give some details to the hands like uh, freckles and some veins. And also with the 3D glitter glue, I will give it the final details and I will give it some uh, scales with some little pieces of angelina foil. For the top I'm going to use the satin ribbon in a pink color and some beads and sequences, sakura flowers. Then I'm going to sew it by hand directly to the satin. After I'm satisfying with the result, I will close it in the back side directly to the body, also with some beads and sequences. With some wires, I'm gonna make her some earrings and I'm gonna use some beads also. And with a lighter and a pin, I'm gonna make her a hole in her ear to insert the earring. And that's how she looks. I hope you're liking my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, please, to share it and like it and comment and give me your opinion about my dolls. It's very important for me. Well, I have to give her a friend. For a little friend, I have this dolphin from Rubber. I'm gonna use some gesso because of the blue color and yeah, the other day it, it didn't work really. Scratch out and um, uh, I have to clean it and start all over again. So I thought, well, maybe the glitter glue, she's more elastic, so she will work good on the rubber and let it try it and yes it works Ta -da! and i'll finish him with more sakura flowers and see details 
and I leave you with my sparkling amazing mermaid with a friend a dolphin and I see you in the next video bye